Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to review some soups. And we'll find out if they're mm-mm good right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. Well, it is fall, and this time of the year always reminds me of my dad because any time fall would roll around, my father would pull out the old-fashioned pressure cooker, the put it on top one? of the gas stove. Yeah, the one with the little thing that spins around the top, and he was always like, don't go near that. It's going to explode. Blow your face off. And he was always making fresh soups. We always had, like, lentil soup and split pea soup and chicken soup and especially now, turkey soup he would make from the bones. Always had fresh soup, and we would just have soup throughout the entire fall and winter. Now, I wasn't growing up in New York. I was growing up in South Florida. And even though we don't get cold, you know, falls and winters, this was soup season for us, too. I mean, you would see it on, you know, the television set, movies. People would be, like, holding, like, you know, cozy mugs of soup. And we wanted to participate in that, too. So it was soup weather here in South Florida as well. Yeah. So we were really excited when Kettle and Fire reached out to us and said, hey, would you guys be willing to review some of our new soups? And I was like, yes, Heck absolutely. Yes. Because we love the Kettle and Fire bone broths. Yeah, we've used this bone broth. It's really been our favorite yep. that we've come across. It's so delicious. It really adds a lot to whatever you're cooking. But we've used it to just bring break a fast. Yeah. I mean, it's that delicious. You can just drink it on your own, you know, make like a, a keto bone broth or a bulletproof bone broth. Um, but I still have been missing soup. 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 Well, let's go over what they sent us because they sent us a few different things. We're not going to try them all. We're going to pick one and try it and okay. put it through our five things review, but we can base everything on the one product. Yeah. So they sent us a beef bone broth, just as a plain one. They also have some where they add other stuff. Chicken. They sent us a chicken one. We have a broccoli cheddar soup with chicken bone broth. Wow. We have a spicy cauliflower with chicken bone broth. Mm. And then we have, this is a mushroom bisque soup with chicken bone broth. I am actually really excited about this, although I know it's not your favorite. You're not a mushroom guy. Well, here's what I think we're going to do. So we're going to put all of our products, anytime we review something, we put it through what's called the five things review, where we're going to taste things, put it through the nutrition, check out all of the, the uh, ingredients and everything. First thing we're going to do is taste it. Right. Uh, so I think we're going to try the mushroom bisque soup. I can't believe that that's the one you're picking. Well, like you said... I don't like mushrooms. I'm not a big mushroom fan. Like, I don't mind a mushroom gravy, like, over a green bean casserole, something like that. But I'm not a huge mushroom fan. So I figure if I like this one, I'm sure I would like You're all the other really ones. You're going to really like the other ones. So there is a little bit of copy on the back of this. It says, why kettle and fire? Whether you're a keto diet or you just want a quick and nutritious meal, this is the soup for you. Kettle and Fire has crafted first-of-its-kind soups that are 100% keto-friendly, absolutely delicious. Oh, and we've added our secret weapon of bone broth. Our mushroom bisque soup contains one full serving of bone broth made from organic chicken bones, and it's the only bone broth with 10,000 five-star reviews. We're one of those reviews. We're one of those reviews. <laughs> Uh, the bone broth in our keto soups contains natural electrolytes to help with the keto flu, fats to help you hit your macros, and only two grams of net carbs per serving. This is our keto take on the classic mushroom bisque soup. It's a keto meal in a box ready in five minutes, and once you give our soups a shot, we're confident they will become a staple of your diet. Nick and Justin, founders of Kettle and Fire. I like the five-minute thing. Yeah. So on the side, it says heating. We recommend you heat this in a pot until simmering. Whisk it uh, while heating to ensure the soup is mixed and smooth. If you're in a rush, you can microwave it for 90 seconds, remove from the microwave whisk, and then reheat. I think we're going to go stovetop to make sure we get the full experience. But it's nice that there's like a grab-and-go option, or if I want to take this with me and I'm going to be like in a hotel room or something and all I've got is a microwave. Yep. So we're going to go heat this up and we will be right back. Okay, we're back, and uh, this stuff smells amazing. Amazing. Like, there is a lot 
of uh, ingredients going on in there and smells like. When I first poured it out of the container, I was like, wow. And I want to show this to you. There's no way to really kind of like show it like that. So I got my phone here and I was just going to kind of like show you guys like this. But you can actually see there are like chunks of mushrooms. Look at that. Yeah. In there. It has a really nice soup consistency. It's not too thin. It's got a nice thick texture it's to it. It's got a nice thickness to it. I'm hoping with all those mushrooms in there that you can actually eat it. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Wow. Now I am a mushroom girl, so I'm like, I'm loving the chunks in it. It has a nice mushroom flavor to it, but it's not like overpowering. The bone broth is definitely coming through along with all of the seasonings. Wow, that is rich. I have to take another spoon. Wow. This is really good. Really good. No like wonky aftertaste or anything. It's just very like buttery. And it, it doesn't even need salt. And a lot of times when I buy like these cartons of soup or or like either in a carton or in a can, either they have way too much salt yeah, where like you can't salt even box. eat it or you need to pour a bunch of salt in there. I feel like it's got the perfect amount of seasoning to it's it. It's very nicely seasoned and it's not just like salty it's got a lot of good flavor yeah so do you want to put this through five things no i want to eat it <laughs> well let's put it through five things so five things so if you're new to our channel we review all products based on five things we're going to talk about myself the ingredients does it keto based on a nutrition label how does it taste how much does it cost and finally would we recommend it i also have the website pulled up because i have a bunch of different flavors of bone broths and soups and when we get to the price thing we'll kind of go over all of that Okay, so number one, the ingredients. And since this is the one we're having, we, I'll pull out the mushroom one, and we'll kind of glance at the other ones. But the ingredients in this are water, organic cream, organic chicken bone broth concentrate, mushrooms, organic salted butter, which is made with organic pasteurized cream and salt. I can taste the butter. Organic Parmesan cheese, which is made with organic pasteurized milk, salt, and enzymes. It contains less than less than 2% of mushroom broth, onions, xanthan gum, dehydrated garlic, sea salt, lemon juice, concentrate, organic spice, and spices. Wow. So like homemade. Like homemade ingredients. No wonder why it tastes like a restaurant. Yeah. It is really good. Super clean ingredients. And I can taste the cream. Now just uh, take a look at some of the other ones. So this is the broccoli cheddar, uh, water organic cream, organic cheddar cheese. Uh, organic chicken bone broth concentrate, broccoli, organic salted butter, pasteurized cream, dehydrated garlic, organic Parmesan cheese, xanthan gums, mustard, organic spices, and nutmeg. Ooh, that one sounds amazing. I know. This one I'm really excited about. The spicy cauliflower with chicken bone broth. It says water, organic coconut cream, cauliflower puree, organic cauliflower, organic chicken bone broth concentrate, Less than 2% of onions, tomato powder, xanthan gum, spices, salt, sea salt, organic spices, garlic powder, turmeric, dehydrated red bell pepper, onion powder, organic mustard, and paprika. So they all have good, good ingredients. Yeah. Before we move on to like does it keto, I did want to uh, talk about this real quick. So this is the bone broth one. And I was looking at this while we were cooking. This is just the beef bone broth. The ingredients in this are beef broth, which is water and beef bones, organic onions, organic carrots, organic celery, organic parsley, organic apple cider vinegar, sea salt, organic black pepper, organic bay leaves, organic thyme, and organic rosemary. We have tried to make bone broth ourselves. Yeah. I don't think we saved any money and it was super... Super labor intensive. It took forever. And yeah, the bones were ridiculously expensive, especially if you want to go get bones from like grass fed, grass finished cattle. I think they had been hanging around for a while too. But I just wanted to compare that to this. This we got from Aldi's. Now this isn't even bone broth. This is just broth. broth okay. The ingredients in this is beef stock, which is made with water and dehydrated beef stock. And then it has carrots, caramel coloring, sugar, salt, yeast extract, beef tallow, lactic acid, potato flour, onions, celery, natural flavors, dehydrated carrots, enzymes, and a trivial, it actually says, a trivial amount of fat. 
a trivial amount. Like it doesn't even matter. Like that. What, what's with the sarcasm on the on the ingredients list? <laughs> but what a difference in just the ingredient list. Well, here's the thing. This isn't a soup. This isn't kind of like a condensed soup that you would add. So it's kind of strange to me why there's like potatoes and. You know, if they're using this thickeners. It's like for extra. a broth. It's a broth. I'm yeah. expecting it to be thin, right? Now, obviously, this is going to cost more money than this, but this is made with grass fed beef. You know, there's just a huge difference in the quality. So I just wanted to kind of mention the ingredients there. So, number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? So, we're not going to talk about the broths. We're just talking about this soup right now. So, a serving size is one cup. There's two servings in here. And, and honestly, this is a pretty healthy serving. Now, it doesn't look like I've got much because I've ate most of mine. And these are big bowls. Yeah, but okay, so it was a lot. Two servings per container, 240 calories per serving, 200 calories from fat. It has 22 grams of fat. So talk about they're making this keto for you. Wow. <laughs> um, it does even say on the front, it's got a little keto logo up on the top. It has nine grams of protein. Three total carbohydrates and one gram of dietary fiber. Now, all of those carbs are coming from your spices, having your mushrooms, vegetables. the onions, and the vegetables. So Places you would want it to come from. They're not coming from anything Potato bad. Potato starch. Potato starch or sugar or any of that kind of garbage. Right. So, yeah, it absolutely so, keto's on the nutrition. So, if I ate the entire thing, how many carbs would I have? So, if you were to eat the entire thing, it would be, uh, what, 480 calories, 44 grams of fat, uh, 18 grams of protein, six total carbs, and uh, four net carbs. And that's going to be a very hearty lunch. Yes. Like... For real. Well, I want to finish that. We need to get through this video. I know. Okay, so number three, how does it taste? I'm not even waiting for this video to be over to eat it because it tastes really good. It tastes really good. I don't think there's much more to say about it. I feel like it's Thanksgiving in a bowl. I know this is the chicken, but there's something about the mushroom that makes me think of fall and Thanksgiving time. I just got like nice chunks of mushroom. I, I feel like if I just dropped a couple of pieces of like leftover turkey or something in it, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, that would just that be... That would just elevate it to another level. Instant turkey pot pie. Yeah. Okay. So number four, how much does it cost? Okay. Now, you can get it on their website. Okay. Um, they did give us a coupon code. The coupon code is going to be 2 Crazy Ketos. It's going to give you 10% off. I also did get an, uh, an email from the owner, Nick... That they're having some special Black Friday sales. Oh, nice. So you, I follow the link that's going to be down below. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell me exactly what it is, but he said everything, first of all, is going to be free shipping if you buy it from the website. Okay, that's nice. And then it's going to be up to 30% off, but I don't know what up to is. Is it buy one, get a certain amount? I don't know any of those details. As soon as we find out, we'll put it on our Facebook family group. And their Black Friday sale is going to start on November 25th. Now, I haven't seen these in stores yet. I have not seen the soups. I've seen the bone broths. We get them from Whole Foods a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're going to look on the website for the prices. And there's just too much for me to try to remember. So I wanted to go over real quick. So the bone broths, they have a beef bone broth and a chicken bone broth, which we have here. Then they have a mushroom chicken bone broth. Mm -hmm. They have a chipotle beef bone broth. Ooh. They have a turmeric ginger, ginger chicken bone broth. We have tried that, and it is really it good. It is really good. And then they have a lemongrass ginger uh, faux beef bone broth, whatever oh, that means. Nice. And then they also have a coconut curry and lime chicken bone <gasps> broth. Okay, we need to try that. That's a new one. Oh, the last four are new. The chipotle, the turmeric, the lemongrass... And the coconut curry are all brand new. I have not tried the curry. I really want to try that. So the bone broths are $7.99 per carton, which actually I think is cheaper than Whole Foods. It's not that bad. And you're getting two servings out of it. I mean, we will use one when we're like breaking a fast. And that's what, $4 a meal? $4 a meal for the bone broth. And again, yes, you can go buy this stuff and pay 2 or $3, but there's going to be a huge difference in quality. This is so good though. Yeah. Okay. So now on to the soups. So they have three keto soups. Okay. Okay. Actually, it looks like they have four keto soups. They have on here, they have the broccoli and cheddar keto soup. That's this guy. They have the mushroom bisque keto soup. The one we just tried. The spicy cauliflower keto soup. Wait. And then there's another one, which Nick did not send me. I'm going to have to be emailing <gasps> him for this one. 
It is a butter curry keto oh soup. Oh my goodness. Talk yeah. about drop some Nick turkey. didn't send me that one. I want to try that one. I love curry. I love curry. Yeah. So they also have some that are not keto. Okay. Okay. And let's just take a look at the difference between the keto and the not keto one. Pulling up, they have a Thai curry not keto one. And uh, so the nutrition on that one. This is not curry. This is, this is not, not keto. keto one. The not keto one has 15 total carbohydrates. So it's nice that they have this keto option of them. So, and that's even still not super bad. I was going to say, if you're making like recipes for your family and maybe everybody in your family is not keto, trust me, the kids are going to like go nuts right. over the flavors in here. Okay. So for these keto soups... $8.49 a package. Okay, but that's still, you got two servings. Two servings. I think these are great, especially if you're traveling, like stopping at Whole Foods, grabbing these, heating them up in the microwave in your hotel, something like that. It's just a nice, like, grab and go, have them in your cabinet, that kind of thing. So, again, little expensive compared to buying, like, you know, Campbell's chunky uh, can of soup or whatever. Yeah, but, but it's not, like, <laughs> the same kind of soup, right? Not the same kind of soup. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Go, go on. I don't, there, we don't have another one of those. Go on. <laughs> so, uh, overall, yeah, that's the prices on them. So, finally, number five, would we recommend these? Yes. Yes, we would. <laughs> it, they're really good. Yes, they are really good. You're not drinking my soup. Foiled again. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, they're really good. And I think that they would add a lot to things that you're already cooking. So I'm thinking this with your ground beef is going to bring back Salisbury steak into your life. If you've been missing like a gravy, it's so thick. I would totally just pour some of this over my Salisbury steak. I'm not wasting Salisbury this on steak. a gravy. I'm I, definitely, I'm just not, I'm not wasting this. It is, it is that good. And I love soup. I just think it's really Adds a lot of flavor. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely does. And for me, I like I said, I definitely plan on getting a few of these, having them in the cabinet for, hey, I don't feel like cooking. I just want something kind of light. Get me through for a meal. It's got the perfect macros in it. It's got good ingredients in it. It's, you know, really low in carbohydrates. And it's you, filling. I'll tell you where else I would like this for um, topping the cauliflower mashed potatoes. Putting oh, a little drizzle yeah. of this on top of it. Like, that's the one thing Caleb requests. Like, with some mushroom gravy on these cauliflower mashed potatoes. Yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah. Well, that is our video for today. Like I said, there is a link down below. You can use the code 2 Crazy Ketos for 10% off on their website. I know you can get it at Whole Foods. I've seen it at other stores. I think even Sprout sells it. And I don't think I'm going to brush my teeth again. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Has a lot of good flavors going on in here. And again, uh, make sure you check out for their Black Friday sale, which starts on November 25th. Uh, it's going to be up to 30% off on things. And it says there's no coupons, so you might even be able to combine the Two Crazy Ketos coupon with that thirty up to 30% off sale. I'm not I sure. Would, Don't quote me it. on that, but I would definitely try it because... In the copy that he sent me, it says no coupon required for the Black Friday sale. So, oh, nice. So that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section which one of the flavors would you be most interested in trying. Hold like on. I said, I definitely want to try that curry one that we didn't get. I the know. The butter curry But one. I also, my next one that I'm super excited about is the spicy cauliflower. Yeah. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon that way. Every single time we have soup. <laughs> You'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.